Hello friends, in this video we are going to see how to use Devanagari script in Python. As we all know, Python 3 programming language supports the Unicode system by default. So I can store any Unicode characters, Unicode means the characters from the other languages than English in any uh, strings or in any variables. So how to use that, how to make use of these characters from Devanagari script point of view. So Devanagari is a script which is used for Marathi, Hindi and Sanskrit languages of India. Uh, so this is uh, how we are going to make use of this particular scripts in Python. So we will going to show you uh, this particular method here in this video. So uh, before actually going to the practical session, so we I, I need to confirm that we have installed one package whose name is Indic Transliteration. So just check it out. So I am going to install the Indic Transliteration package. So we can make use of pip installer or we can make use of anaconda also to install this package in your system. So sudo pip3 install and the package name is indic underscore transliteration. So indic transliteration uh, is a package which is used to convert your character from Roman into the Indian languages. So I can make use of other languages of India also but this video I am be showing Devanagari script only. So let's see this one. I'm going to install this indic transliteration package okay so a few six seven packages are there which i uh, will download along with this as dependency packages they are already installed in my system so once this is done then i'm going to use this package in my program so i'll be using the uh, jupyter notebook here with the help of this i'll be showing the practical of the python programming language here so first thing uh, from the package which we are installed here from indic transliteration you have to import the Sanskrit. Okay, so Sanskrit is a script for Sanskrit language. That's why Sanskrit is specially uh, used for this. See, you just can check it out. So many things that Indic transliteration contains. Uh, out of it, we are going to use this Sanskrit. So this is what the scans Sanskrit is there, which we can use. So many uh, few more functions are present. Out of it, I'll be using this Sanskrit. And for Indic transliteration, Sanskrit, and be importing transliterate. You might be aware about Google transliteration. So Google transliteration is a method by which you transform your Roman script into the Devanagari script format. So here transliterate is to convert the same operation. That is, we are going to convert the Roman script into the Devanagari script with the help of transliterate. Okay, so this is what I have installed, executed. Now let's see how to use the Devanagari characters in your code. So uh, this is all almost many Devanagari characters I have added, I have stored into variable data. Okay, so multi-line string like O, A, E, E, U, U. Okay, then O, A, U, M, K, K, G, G. This is your Ch, then J, J, then T, Th, D, D, N. Okay, then again T, and then Th, again da dha pa pha ba bha ya ra la va sa sha sha ha la and sha okay so these are the characters which are stored in this variable into the roman script format okay so when i store that and uh, i just want to print all of this on the screen so how to use this one i i need to use the transliterate function to perform these operations so i'll be printing transliterate Okay, this data here first parameter, second parameter is uh, I require I trans. Okay, this is uh, what you indic transliteration I, I require from the Sanskrit. That's why I've given that. And which scripts I'm using? That is script Sanskrit dot Devanagri. So Devanagri is a constant variable. It's a name of the script which uh, we will be using. So you can check it out. Like we are going to use the Bengali or Brahmic script Devanagri, Gujarati, Gurumukhi, Kannada. Malayalam, Oriya, okay, Tamil, Telugu, okay, all these scripts are available and possible over here. These are the commonly used scripts in India. I'll be using the Devanagari scripts. And now let's run this. Check it out. So all of these characters are stored or they are printed on the screen in this format. Okay, starting from O to Ksho. Okay, so all they are present, all they are stored, and uh, we need to just uh, confirm that for this, which alternative character is there. For example, uh, this can be T or T also, but if it is in small case, then it is T, and if it is in capital case, it is T. Okay, same case for TH also, this is TH and this is TH. So this, this 
we need to remember and based on that we are going to create the scripts for example my name is Tushar Kute and I want to store I want to print my name in a variable name so check it out so this is the then use so to then this is I'm making sure and uh, if you're adding one more a uh, to it it will become a uh, then a row then connect it to a uh, to it so check it out this is capital s that's why second show will be present there then k k u k k u and capital t is t small t is t okay and then my name will be created so these are the uh, this is what my uh, character in roman format and i want to convert that into the uh, format of Devanagari so I'll be using the transliterate function for this so let's use transliterate name Sanskrit I trans okay same Sanskrit dot I trans then Sanskrit dot Devanagari and let's go for that okay so it's stored in the variable and I'll be printing it check it out same way we can read that name from the user also okay so before that I'll just making use of some character which are connected to each other like Maharashtra Maharashtra so this is ma okay M A ma H A A R A A Ra then S H show okay so I'm not writing S H A it is S H is connected to to capital to T then R and then A okay so this will create Maharashtra so we need to focus on that how to create this particular characters in the Devanagari scripts when I run that so it's stored there and if I'm printing it okay I'll run this line again because my name is changed Maharashtra here to is uh, not completed so to is connected to row so it's not shown correctly here but uh, in many IDs we can see this perfectly written or perfectly printed okay and one more thing if you want to read this from the user and then you have to print so that's also possible so let's check it so I'm using input function here by using input function I'll read this data from the user and then I'll store into the Roman format so let's read this so for example tell your name or a s h m e e so this is Rashmi and uh, that will be entered okay so I entered that name and then it is stored into the variable name and now let's transliterate it and print it on the screen check this one so this is what I got a e so remember uh, though my spelling is correct I want to use the second e so just check it out I, I need to use the capital I for that this one okay double e is not present over here that's why it's created so I need to use specific format for this now check this is I am making capital I and now check this out yes this is the perfect name generated out of this characters so this is the way how we are going to make use of the Unari script in your uh, system so this is possible for all kind of python program especially in python 3 this is by default available and we can use almost all kind of the indian scripts into your python code thank you thanks a lot